So why is a high activation energy considered a useful property of fuel? Well, let's just recap. The activation energy is the minimum energy required for a reaction to occur. And so frankly, it's just less likely to explode. If you need only a tiny bit of energy to get it burning, then that's much more likely to happen than if you need a high amount of energy to get it burning. So unforeseen uh, causes of this little bit of energy that might take you over the activation energy, static is a hot day, crushing it, uh, hitting it, or, or just catching it on fire. All of these can produce a little bit of energy, which if your activation energy is very small, might kick the reaction off and it might start burning. Looking at this diagram here, you can see the activation energy there. So the bigger the activation energy, the less likely a random just event happening in storage or, 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 or handling will exceed it. The green curve, that has a bigger activation energy, so it's probably a more stable fuel. You can compare gasoline with diesel. Uh, diesel has the high activation energy, so it's the more stable fuel. Uh, but the problem is it's quite hard to start a diesel car uh, on a very cold morning. But the good news is it's, it's much safer to handle. Now, don't get confused uh, with the fact that fuels with a high activation energy can still produce a lot of energy when combusted. That's possible. So just because the activation energy is relatively high, it still can give me a very big delta H. Uh, and as a side note, for explosives, most explosives need a detonator, and that detonator supplies the energy that's greater than activation energy for your explosion. Uh, and when on the subject of explosions, ammonium triiodide is renowned for having a very low activation energy. It's a percussive explosive. There are videos online where a feather tap will just set it off. And a kind of question I was thinking about, here's some uh, gelignite that's got sweaty. Sweaty gelignite is less stable. Uh, it looks pretty, looks pretty grim there. Can you suggest a reason why when gelignite sweats, it becomes less stable. And on to a silly Gary's mod. 